All right, good evening. I'm Sergeant Lloyd with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Around 2.45 p.m., officers responded to the 9800 block of Lim Turner Road about a person shot. An adult male in his 40s was transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The victim sustained a gunshot wound to his abdomen and is currently getting surgery. Our initial investigation has determined that our victim was in a dispute with a black male suspect over some money. That uh, argument escalated. The suspect displayed a firearm and discharged that firearm, striking our victim in the abdomen. Uh, the victim, the suspect then, the, sorry, the suspect then demanded the uh, the cell phone of our victim and took that cell phone and then fled the area in a silver SUV. So currently, the only description we have is a black male driving an unknown make model uh, silver SUV, like a smaller SUV. Uh, robbery detectives and violent crime detectives are on scene. That's an ongoing investigation. So we do ask anybody with any information, please contact the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office at 904-630-0500 or via email at jsocrimetips at jacksheriff.org or the Crime Stoppers hotline at 1-866-845-TIPS. Questions? Uh, you said they were in a dispute over money. What were they trying to buy? Uh, right now, it's, it appears to be over narcotics. Okay. So it was a drug, drug deal? That's what it sounds like right now. And did, did it happen um, on this side of Glen Turner, and did it happen in the parking lot of this Jackie's car business or the barbecue place? It did not. It no. did not. Was it across the street right here? Yes, it happened behind that business across the street behind me. Okay, do we know if he was an employee of the business? He was not. Okay. And the victim is a heterosexual male man? A white male in his 40s. He's in non-life-threatening condition. Okay, and it was just one gunshot? One, got, one gunshot wound to the abdomen. And do we know what the weapon may have been? A handgun. Did that happen in the street? It happened behind a business. Now, is, can you just speak on, is this something that we see often, is, you know, in general, a drug deal gone bad and someone's shot? Can you just speak on this? Unfortunately, that is a scenario that can happen when people are, are dealing with narcotics. Things like that can happen. Yes, ma'am. Was it um, was it cocaine? Was it fentanyl? Do you know what kind of drugs it was? We're still investigating. How um, concerning is it just knowing this happened? What do you mean, how concerning? Just knowing that this was all because of a drug deal. I mean, it's concerning anytime someone gets shot, regardless of what the scenario is. You know, life is precious. So. Been a lot of these just shootings involving. I mean, this is a drug deal. There's been a dispute over a car, sale of a car. I mean, there's. It seems like it's like every day we just have one of these. Um, I know there are. Most of them seem isolated, and you guys say they're isolated. But just, can you speak on just the volume of these shootings that we've been having lately? And just, I, I know Vanessa and how concerning they are, but it is a concern. It seems. It is. It is a concern for the sheriff's office for the, the safety of the public. That's why we take this very seriously, and we, we put all the resources we can in trying to, to solve these incidents. Uh, and we do the best we can to prevent them also with you know, productivity and being proactive in the, in the streets. Uh, but as far as, I can't speak on every incident. They're all different. Everything's, all scenarios are different. Uh, so we're just investigating this one today, and we'll, we'll do the best we can to solve it. Does it burn you guys out? Does it burn us out? It's our job. It's what we do for the public. Anything else? All right, thank you. Have a good evening. Thanks.